Hi, welcome back. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here for the second time this year, Sifu. It's, it's really an honor. Really good to be back. Thank I you. enjoyed it. While you're here, I want to ask you, maybe you could talk a little bit about uh, the Wusau, how to use it and uh, mm -hmm. when to use it. Yeah? Okay. Wusau literally translates as guarding hand or protecting hand. In the form in Sinimtao, we see the hand many, many times in the first section because it links the Tan Sao and the Fuk Sao actions. In the form, we actually do the technique a long way compared to reality because as well as training Wu Sao, we're also training the Fuk Sao over the longest possible distance to fully appreciate Fuk Sao. But in reality, if you're using the Wu Sao hand, it will not need to come back so far. So if you and I were colliding, and you applied force, I could generally get rid of that force with the smallest of actions. It doesn't have to come back very far. Mm. What is very important is that in the form, we always train the hand to be at the same level as the rear hand, so that the wrist lines up at the same height. We don't play the hand in front of the face. And that's because if you're trying to hit me to the head, which is your most likely target, if I keep the hand in front of the face, you'll break through very easily. But if instead I use the elbow, and redirect your energy, I can let the hand stay low and your punch can't get in. That means now I've got a closer connection to the stance so I can hit. And that therein lies the most important thing is that in Wu Zhao, you don't use the hand to do the defense. A lot of misinterpretations happened over the years because Cantonese word Sao does mean the hand. But in martial arts terminology, when you talk about Sao, you don't just mean the hand but you mean the entire forearm and the hand. So when I do Wu so if you try to hit me from a distance, what's happening is the forearm is taking care of you. The hand's job is to maintain the right angle to provide a natural strength. So if you push on it now, it's very, very strong without any tension being required. If I was to use my hand to do that and you push hard, it will most likely collapse because my hand and wrist isn't strong enough alone but the elbow and the forearm and the body is much stronger. And equally important is the fact that if I use the hand to make the Wu Zhao, I now can't use the hand to hit. So once I release that hand, it will release you. But if Wu Zhao is done with the forearm, I can still hit and I don't release your arm. So it covers me. It can be done in contact, but it also if you're attacking me from a distance, the Wu Zhao hand is also played with the forearm so it's taking your force away and creating an opening. So then there's no need for me to physically hold and control. I am actually controlling you with my structure and not by trying to hold you with my hands. So Wu Sao plays a very important role in physical combat when things are trying to break through. And if I've already extended a hand and you've prevented me from getting in by some sort of blocking action, and then you try to attack from there, this hand can be used again straight away. So I don't need to think about changing hands or coming up with a new strategy. The hand that's already there is already the right hand to use. If you do, from this position, try to throw from the other hand, it's already there and can convert into a jatsa or similar, and so it covers the center all the time. So by being in that perfect line between myself and you, it protects me the whole time. So it literally is a protecting or a guarding hand. It's most important of all the things that Wu Zhao teaches us is it's an introduction to the idea of jielik, stealing power. Mm. It's the easiest one to understand before you then start trying to do things like jat sao, inside or outside, or converting to tan sao, or backing up with pak sao, and all those other possible combinations. It's the most simple way to learn that if there's something that's too strong, let the energy go and then borrow that energy and use it again. It's also a very important hand when we play Lap Sao. In Lap Sao, a lot of people don't realize it, but the Wu Sao action is the same hand. Right? Normally, Wu Sao in the form appears to only come backwards, but every technique in Wing Chun can be used in both directions. Hence, when I'm in a position like this and I want to get this hand out the way, it's Wu Sao that I'm using to deflect. The Lap means to deflect or to push off. So once I've collided, I need to clear a pathway so the Wu Sao becomes my Lap Sao action. So it's a very versatile hand and very important, hence why it appears so many times. Thank you. Welcome.